Hello, everyone. Um, I want to first start out by uh, apologizing to you. Um, I know that I had posted in the first video that I wanted to get these videos to you by um, 8 p.m. every night, and uh, I was a little behind the times today, so just know that won't happen again, and I really appreciate um, you kind of hanging on and uh, just being flexible with me um, as I, I'm sure that you're busy as well in your life, uh, so am I. So, uh, moving forward, what I want to talk to you about today is um, a concept that I learned. I kind of stumbled upon this concept um, a while back, uh, right, right, right towards the end of my recovery process as I started getting myself back together, as I started reading these um, personal development books and I started listening to the personal development audios. Um, right, right about that time is when I kind of stumbled upon this, and um, it just kind of things started happening for me. And I wasn't, I wasn't sure why. I just, I started taking action. I started doing a few things here and a few things there, and things just started coming together. My life slowly started getting pieced back together the way that I knew it was meant to be, the way that others around me knew it was meant to be. And I started, I started inspiring others. I started getting help from others. And I started watching what others were doing um, to help myself create that, that same success. And uh, I want to just share with you that when I first started getting back um, into physical activity, it, it start, again, you know that it started with a walk, something so simple. It started with a walk. And from that moment, there was that moment that we talked about where everything just kind of changed for me. You know, uh, got a, I got a little inspiration from a few people, and it, it changed my life. It really did. And what I started to do was I started to put myself around the people that I wanted to become. I had made a decision that I wanted to get back into the best shape that I could possibly be in. I wanted to live life vibrantly and excited and I wanted to be happy for the days as they came. I didn't want to be like, oh, it's another case of the Mondays. I'm telling you right now, when I hear that, I get I get mad inside. I get mad because Monday, it's, that's the day of the week. That's the first day of the week. That is the day that's going to set the pace for the rest of the week to where when Friday comes, you can look back and say, hell yeah, I did that. Hell yeah, I did it. You know, I want you to get excited for Mondays. I'm so pumped come Sunday night because I know that Monday morning comes, it's going to set the precedence for the rest of the week. And I, and I, it truly, really like, excites me to know that Monday's coming regardless of what I have in the week because all, all that's coming in the week are challenges that are going to help me grow, that are going to help me take action to do something else, and, um, you know, just to be the best me, to help others be the best them. And so, um, with that being said, I, I started putting myself in, um, putting myself around the people that I had wanted to become. I had made that decision that I wanted to get back into shape, so I started hanging around um, people from the, the local CrossFit gym out in um, San Clemente, Southern California. Um, and I, I started being around them on a regular basis so much that I started adopting the way that they were eating again, and I started making it possible to, to eat healthier, to make sure that I'm drinking a lot more water, and to be moving on a regular basis. And I, once I had made that decision, there were a lot of obstacles that came in my way. There were a lot of times when my friends were like, hey, man, just come drink a beer. And it's like, you know what? I, I got priorities right now. Let me come back later. Let me come back and see how you're doing. And um, we'll, we'll chat. I don't need to have the beer, but uh, I, I want to hang out with you. I want to visit with you, and I appreciate your friendship. So uh, let me get back to you once I get once I get done what needs to be done. And so as those things started to come, I started making the adjustments that needed to be done because again, like like we talked about, you can't you can't turn a car that's not moving. So if you're, if you're like, hey, I want to I lose 10 pounds, I want to lose 20 pounds, you can't make changes from the couch. you got to get up. you got to start going to the gym. you got to start eating better, start drinking some water. And from there, you can say, hey, maybe, maybe running on the treadmill at 10.0 for my first day is not going to work, so let me make that adjustment. Let me make that adjustment to 1.0 or 2.0 and start by walking. 
Um, again, it's all about momentum. You start taking the time to to put forth and to to get going, and from there you can you can make those smaller adjustments and steer the course. But the car doesn't move unless it's rolling. So um, keeping that in mind, I was I was now on a roll. I was moving. I was going to the gym on a regular basis three to four days a week. I was walking. I actually got a couple friends to start coming with me. And from there, we created our own small little workout group where we weren't going out in town. We were now staying in the area that we were, that we were living in, and we would have about four to five people come work out with us. So not only did I make a choice for me to change that I wanted to be the best me that I could be, the, the most fit me that I could be, now all of a sudden, like-minded people started coming and hanging around people who wanted to make those same results and said, hey man, if you can do it, I know I can do it. I was coming off of an injury and everybody else was like, you know what, I, I like what you're doing. I, I do. So, so they started hanging around and we started cultivating this, this, um, this community of, of like-minded people that wanted to be healthy, that wanted to be fit, and that wanted to feel, feel good about themselves and feel like I'm, I'm taking charge. I'm doing things. I'm not just sitting around eating bad and drinking. Um, and so that's, that's really it. That's what it comes down to. Now, it took me a while. I didn't see that um, while it was happening. But there were some audios that I had started listening to, the personal development audios. And once I started hearing these things, it, it, it started, the bigger picture started coming together. Um, and what, what I had heard from one of the audios was that it's in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. And so I want to end on this note, but I want to end with what are your decisions going to be? What does your destiny look like for you? What do you see in your future and what do you see in the future of those around you? Um, just remember, it's in our moments of decision that our destiny is shaped. So with that being said, have a great night, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.